DIYers and welcome back to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Era. Now today we're going to be doing a different type of a project. Now if you like what I do, please subscribe, comment below, and don't forget to tap that notification bell and YouTube will notify you of any upcoming videos. Okay, let's get started. You're going to need pinto beans and a sock. You're going to need cotton balls. You're going to need a headphone but it's optional, it's up to you. You're gonna need a bathtub and some white balls, styrofoam balls. You're gonna need a beanie, some little wooden dolls. You're gonna need pearls and a duck and some fur. Let's get started. I also forgot to mention, we're going to need to paint this. You're going to need some uh, sun-kissed peach paint. And uh, you will need to color the ball because it's got to be a peach color. Um, I'll be back when it's clean. Okay, now while the the nose and the head are drying, because I painted them a peach color, which is this color. It's a sun kiss color. See it? That's the only painting you're really going to be doing. Well, yeah. Okay, so now I'm putting a rubber band on this. This is the body. Just get any old sock. Because you're going to put the head on the top right here. When it's done. I did have another very good idea. I have a, a permanent Sharpie. Uh, it's a silver. And I thought I would paint these. Um, this, the faucets, see how that is? Yeah, I'm just using the Sharpie to do this. Okay, now the ball's already dry. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue it here, okay? I've already hot glued the body into the... Um, there's many ways to do this. You don't have to. It's gonna come out so cute. This is a bean. Um, you know, you you know you can use an old sock if you want. You can crochet yourself one. You can do just about whatever you want. Now. This beanie before it goes on, I'm going to put the I'm going to have 
enough to cut the, the beard. Now the beard's not going to be very long, okay? It's just um, going to be a bit short. You can make the beard any color you want. Just, um, I wouldn't advise you to do it white because I think it'll clash with the bubbles that you're going to make right now. And, um, yeah. I'm just going to cut a little bit of the beard where it's going to go around there, okay? Now, when you cut the beard, you might want to draw with a pencil. How long you want it. Now it's not going to be very long. Now when you cut the beard, you're not going to cut the fur, okay? You're going to cut, you're going to pick it up, you see? And you're going to cut on the very tip of the fur. If you cut the, if you cut the fur, see, once you cut it, then you're going to cut it on the inside on top of the fur. You see? Cut the very back very gently. You don't want fur all over the place. Now, I've already cut the beard, so before I glue the nose, I went ahead and put a little bit of pink on the tip to make it look like he's got some color in his nose. And I just went ahead and cut a little so when you put the nose, you can put it over like that, okay? Okay, now, I didn't get to show you. Um, I went ahead and I painted this gray to make it look like silver. So I just did it with black and white. I thought it would add to the... Now when you do this, you might want to put a, a few down here at the bottom. But when you do, uh, I would advise you to maybe hot glue them down a little bit. Okay, now like I was saying, hot glue some of these down. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. It's just to fill the bottom a little bit. them around a little bit okay um and i want to get some and stuff some back there in the back okay see right here in the back put some in there try not to get the beer hot glue everything down but most of it yeah 
Okay, now, right here where the beard is, just get some cotton and spread it out a little bit. And hot through a little bit of this stuff. It, it's gonna be kinda hard because it's hard to hot glue cotton. Okay, now, it looks like it's in the bubble bath. Now what I'm going to do with this, I thought we'd get this and just uh, make it look like he's got a, a beard. Well, not a beard, but I mean like a mustache. Okay, this is what I have so far, okay? Um, I just kind of made it look like he has a little mustache and I trimmed his beard a little bit, it was too long. Don't want it to look too shabby. Now, I'm going to put some pearls. I'm going to hot glue a few pearls on the top to make it look like some more bubbles. Different size pearls. Um, some big ones and some little ones. Okay. Okay, last but not least, I'm not gonna hot glue these down. I just, in case I wanna reuse them for another note. But for right now, yeah. Look, isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, that's super cute. I love it. I love gnomes. Wait to see what I'm gonna do with a little truck. Okay. This is the finished product. I thought it came out so cute. Look at that. See that? Taking the bubble bath, listening to his music. This is so cute. I love it. And again, you can make this out of a sock. I just happened to be at the do at Hobby Lobby the other day, so I went ahead and got it at the... I went to the, the doll department in the very back, and they had all kinds of doll accessories, and I saw these, they have different colors, and I got it. So yeah, this is it, finished product. Okay, until next time. Bye, keep on crafting. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel. So you can see some more awesome videos. I have a lot of more awesome videos coming up. The next project I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take that fur that I, the fur, this fur. I'm going to show you how you can make a, a real cool shaggy dog out of it. So, yeah. Subscribe. And please comment below. I would love to hear your comments. Really would. So, and thank you for subscribing.
Okay, bye.